Hello everybody, Antonis here. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to create this particular vehicle using the this clean sketching technique I call it. Uh, essentially, using my favorite box height split tool and trying to do it a bit more efficient, man, a bit faster than usual. Because before that, I did stuff a little bit dirty. For example, like this box where I just did really fast sketches inside 3D code. Or like this particular piece and you can find it like on my earlier videos uh, you know, like vehicle sketching inside 3d code it's called and I think there is a time and place for this type of guys uh, they're really quick and only take maybe two minutes to create but what I found is that uh, especially when I'm working with clients and I kind of pass them these super rough sketches that what I ended up with that end result would be really really different from the early sketch and I would have some questions from the clients themselves like why why the early sketch is so different from the final final piece or like not final piece but mid final piece. So I decided that I need to really concentrate on some kind of technique that allows me to produce uh, cleaner results early on that can be presentable and conveyed in a better fashion. And you can see this one right here. Still a sketch, I'd say, lacks a lot of elements. Um, probably combining this is a bit dirty technique where you can uh, throw some bolts and all that on top. Uh, and some elements like uh, could have provided a better result, but you know, I would have taken more time. And before I start that video, I wanted just to show my initial setup. So. Originally, I found this particular photo pack that I was kind of inspired me to do uh, like an armored vehicle design, and uh, I have the photo pack itself. But uh, you can find quite a bit of photos on photo ref uh, that you know are quite descriptive enough without even buying the pack. So I'll provide the, a link uh, in the description. And I found the uh, dimensions of that armored vehicle, so the and I kind of approximated it to a 2 meter by 4 meter box. It's about 2 meter high. Not about, it's exactly 2 meter high. And I've got uh, vehicles right here, uh, wheels, wheels right here that are all instanced. So if I cut off anything, then it's get cut off all, all around. Um, doesn't show here because I actually forgot to rotate these guys. And I deal with that actually in the video, but anyway, so that's a really simple setup to start with. It saves you quite a bit of time. Uh, and you know, starting with a proper scale is really important. And this this wheels are about a meter in diameter. And again, I actually checked the uh, drawings, the engineering drawings of the uh, armored vehicle I showed before. All right, let's start the time lapse itself. So, start with the box. Which I've showed, which I split at the same time to get the top part of the turret. Just shaping the top part using the box height tool. I didn't plan to get this kind of shape, a diamond shape, which is kind of common for more uh, modern military stuff, military vehicles. Well, essentially to deflect the bullets and all that. Right, so I'm trying to define the bottom part, which is the main body. Hiding big volumes and hiding smaller ones. And moving the wheels. So every now and then I press in perspective mode, it's uh, 5 on the num numpad, 
just to see how it looks in, in perspective. It just helps to get an understanding of it. Okay, so I started to split uh, other parts into different parts, essentially different blocks. And I found that the wheels were a little bit too big, so I decided to give a bit more space to the vehicle body. Yep, so doing some splits for the for the barrel. It was an initial part which I decided to undo in a second and then revert it to doing the body. So body from the top looked like a brick, so I decided okay I need to add a bit more a bit more angles to that. Right, so I, I was liking some parts, so I decided to just duplicate a piece from the middle and then I uh, used it to add this uh, parts over the wheel. You can also see at the left bottom, every now and then I would turn on the through all volumes checker box. So through all volumes really helps you to you know, hide the whole volume. Uh, it's a great function there. I, I would use it quite often when I would need to modify stuff. So I'm doing the front grill, just kind of some fairly random shapes, just throwing them in and out. I would say at this particular stage, you already have a pretty good shape. You can already finish the sketch right here if you, if you want to drop some paint over some top. And it's probably about six minutes in, uh, like eight minutes in the sketch. So, yeah, it's, it can be already finished. You can already call it a finished one at, at this particular point. You just need to do a little bit of paint over. Like I have a separate video about how I did some paint over some tanks on my channel. So I did like a front grill slash uh, highlight. Uh, I thought there was could be a place for headlights, and again splitting it. I think splitting really helps. Uh, to add some realism to the vehicle, you can see the parts like how they are put together, all the panels. And then you can modify each panel individually, which is a huge help. But obviously, when you start splitting, then yeah, actually, right now I've just done a cut through the whole volumes, and I, I like how I cut through the turret by accident. So I, then I did unhide operation on the turret and got this pretty intricate shape for the turret. It's pretty cool. So I did some little cuts, like the panel cuts for uh, like screw pod, stuff like that. Just um, trying to overlay the whole model, <clears throat> cutting through the whole thing and through all the volumes. Started to cut through the headlights. I think I made them way too big, especially considering it's a military vehicle. The headlights they're fairly specific, and they are not really like a civilian vehicle. And I made them look like a civilian vehicle headlights. So I decided that well later on I'll change the headlights quite a bit. Yeah, so I decided to at least make them much thinner. I'm trying to find a design that would suit. Again, I added some panels for the back and some random elements in the front. You could say there could be lashes that help to open the panels. Or I don't know, unlock certain elements inside the car. I 
again, uh, made in the kind of headlight, really thin one. So I started to do the wheels, and the wheels, the, problem, the issue that, that sometimes, I don't know why, but instances start to jump around. You do a cut on a wheel, and on the other instance, it will jump by like a few meters. And I'll go back to the wheels in, in a few minutes. I'll just keep on doing some cuts on the body itself. So I really like that cut in the middle, uh, that kind of helped to add a bit more aggressiveness to the vehicle, uh, the middle bottom. I'm not doing any suspension stuff here. And actually, the photo pack is pretty easy to see the suspension mechanism. And I spent quite a bit of time on my own starting different suspensions, and military suspensions, civilian type vehicle suspensions. So in the future, I'll try to do something like a body where you just concentrate only on the mechanical parts of the body. Uh, here, it's still just pure design driven. Shapes, shapes, shapes. Not that much of mechanical stuff. So yeah, I did, I did the cuts for the tarot, turrets. I decided to do to go with a double barrel style. Obviously, you can have uh, this style turret. It can be modified in many different ways. Uh, if I want to show it for a client again, you can do you can duplicate the turret head and uh, a few times and have few designs for for the gun placements. Uh, pretty easy to do that. Right, so I added the radial symmetry to the to the wheels and decided to do stuff there. I decided to do something really simple. I didn't want to spend too much time. And military vehicles have pretty simple tires, uh, like wheels. I mean, it can go crazy. There's no doubt about it. So I'm doing the radial symmetry is uh, extra extra symmetry for the wheel for the tire. I'm trying to see if I can add an extra pattern there. I decided not to do that. I decided to do use a transpose tool and uh, just add some kind of relief, some kind of in de depth, and then push it, push it inside uh, using a circular selection. Right, just adding cuts to the uh, to the turret. So thinking about the hatch, I was thinking, I looked at the circular one, but it definitely looks pretty weird. Uh, so I decided to go just be some kind of rectangular thing. Just doing smaller cuts, uh, splits of certain elements that. extra lights, some screw pots, uh, it could be optics, optical equipment, a sensor equipment. Extra cuts around the barrels. They're doing some other heights on different panels to see what they can achieve and didn't see much of it so we decided not to do much of it uh, so i use the front panel of the front grill just push it inside uh gives you some nice uh visuals right so try the standard render inside it's pretty cold i think it's not uh, all the stride is never that great, so I, I end up using uh, key shot anyway. So you can see here I'm cutting through the wheels, and I encountered a whole bunch of problems. So they start 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 to, start, start to jump around. I'm not sure why that happens. I really don't have any good explanation for that. So I had to manually fix it. And it was so actually it was such a huge problem that I had to undo everything and redo it again.
I'm trying different materials just to plant stuff here and there. And then I decided that I'll probably have a better look if I uh, make the you know guns a bit barrels a little bit uh, longer. So just hiding and hiding certain parts just to add some relief inside the guns. Right, doing another render, test render, and just changing the FOE on the camera to get more of a vehicle render that's got more a wide angle shot. But then it still ended up with the standard key shot render. So thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.